you have to know that there's going to be some areas that you're exposed because you're not as big as some of the other middles. But also know that there's advantages to being, you know? Just like Matt Anderson, you guys age like fine wine. <laughs> you're going to be like it. an all-star at 50. I mean, you're just going to keep getting better and better. <laughs> Congratulations on your Polish championship. For you, you, just like Matt Anderson, you guys age like fine wine. <laughs> How do you guys continue to get better as you age? Because the stereotype is that people are on the way out, but you're still on your way up. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just what you get in, what you get out. I mean, you get out what you get in, put in. So, yeah, for me, it's like I've always been uh, motivated by just trying to make another Olympic team, just trying to improve, trying to find one small thing to yeah. get better at, improve at. I think this game has so many different challenges, so many different things that yeah. you can kind of fix your, your focus on. And yeah. um, through the years, it's changed, and I think it's allowed my game to evolve and you know keep me competitive and keep me keep me strong and then um, yeah I've just been fortunate with no major injuries and yeah. um, like you were speaking to my my team in Poland like there's a great support staff there for, like yeah. the physios and the strength coach and yeah. even the coaching staff you know like I think they understand that we need to approach things a little differently than if you were a yeah. young 21 year old on the team yeah but they also see the value of what I do bring when, when we can get me in the right spot. Yeah, and that's, I know you started in France, right? Your first pro league? Uh, I started in Germany, Germany. 2008, 2009. So. And then just kind of slowly worked your way up to Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I went to Germany, to Puerto Rico for a little bit, Spain, and then, yeah, I was in France except yeah. five years, and then I went to Poland, and this will be my eighth year in Man, Poland. That's so. amazing. Yeah, 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 it's been a, quite a journey. Join our Elevate Yourself membership community to help you stay motivated on your own journey and connect with me on a deeper level. You'll receive exclusive perks for members only, such as loyalty badges and custom emojis that you can use when commenting on videos, behind the scenes content, members only polls, early access to special videos, and live stream Q&A sessions where you can ask me anything you want. Being a member is also a great way to connect with other hardcore fans and directly support this channel so I can keep making great content for you. So click that join button below and take your Elevate Yourself experience to the next level today. Last question. Yep. So you're considered an undersized middle at the <laughs> highest level, right? But you don't play like it. I mean, you're obviously one of the best middles in the world. What advice do you have for other undersized middles like to succeed? Um, I mean, you all obviously have an all-around game, but like, mm -hmm. kind of, how do you approach it as a, as a middle as six seven? Well, I think having an all-around game, I think benefits everybody. Like yeah. whatever position you're at, obviously at middle, I think we're stereotyped as big guy, just do your work at the net. And yeah. Don't worry about ball control or serving or setting or anything like that. Yeah. So I've always taken that as a little dig at myself and my position. So yeah. I've always tried to be the best I can be in those areas. Yeah. But I think that helps. Um, you know, I think. You have to know that there's going to be some areas that you're exposed because you're not as big as some of the other middles. Yeah. But also know that there's advantages to being, you know, like I trust my speed. I think yeah. that's what allows me to to continue to perform at a high level, especially yeah. um, as I continue to age. It's like that speed allows me to arrive and close blocks and yeah. be disciplined and fundamental when I arrive. You know, some big guys. They take up a ton of space when they can get there, but they don't always get there, yeah. you know, because it takes a little longer for their limbs to get around. So, yeah. you know, high ball blocking, like they're just monsters, you know, it's impossible to deal with them. But yeah. once the setters get like only like 10 feet off the net, especially at the international level, they can fling balls from pin to pin. So you have to be able to, to see that, to read that and yeah. be able to arrive, you know. I think that's something that, um, you know, the undersized middles can, can focus on and get better. It's a very useful skill to be able to arrive, to read, and to trust and not be guessing all the time. Yeah. So, so speed and all around game. And yeah, that, speed and all around game, I think are two things that you know, awesome. kind of set me apart and allowed me to continue to trip, contribute, especially to this national team. For sure. Yeah. Well, I look forward to watching more. I appreciate you're it. You're going to be like it. an all-star at 50. I mean, you're just going to keep getting better and better. <laughs> Thank you. Thank all right. You. Well, good job it, tonight. Thank Take you. Care.